Hi! In this video I'm going to review Shantakai's Spring Butterfly Collection. I got all four products and I'm going to apply them on me, swatch them and compare with all the products from last year's Hummingbird Collection. My name is Mirisa, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle focusing on over 50 issues. If you have been following my channel for a while now, you are probably aware that I love color, I love playing with color and I love lipstick. So when I saw this gorgeous collection from Chantecai, their new spring collection, I knew I had to get them and swatch them and play and tell you all about it. As the beautiful packaging shows, this collection was inspired by the butterflies, but also to call out to the attention the importance that pollinators like bees and butterflies have in our ecosystems. So with this collection, Chantecai is supporting the Scherzes Society, and please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing this name properly, and this society based in California works to preserve the pollinators' natural habitats. Let's talk a little bit about the products. All four are produced in Italy, have a shelf life of two years after open. The quad comes in this beautiful, gorgeous packaging that is like a golden green on the sides and on the back. And the quad is, of course, as I've shown you before, it's similar to the ones from the Hummingbird collection from last year, which look like this. All four eyeshadows on the quartet are shimmery and this one here on the corner, top corner, is particularly shimmery. It's like a triochrome. It uh, shifts between pink, green and gold. And I'm going to show you swatches of them now and also compare them with the eyeshadows of the two hummingbird quartets. As I hope you will be able to see by these swatches, none of the taupe shades have any green in it. The lightest one is a very light warmish brown with some flecks of gold. And the darkest one has a little bit of pink shimmer in it. I'm going to compare the eyeshadows now with the other quads. And as you could see, the first eyeshadow has a very strong duochrome shift between purple and green. Kind of reminds me the VR Extraterrestrial from Pat McGrath. This blue one is absolutely gorgeous, it's actually my favorite one and it has a very dark base, black one. I'm going to compare now the more brownish topish shades and although by the footage you cannot clearly see in truth, the more brown shades are not equal. The first one is a true warm brown, the second one is greenish. And the last one from the Safari palette is definitely green, a muted khaki green. The lipsticks in this collection are Lip Chicks, which is a very glossy, comfortable formula. It's not as pigmented as the one in the lip veils, for instance, but it has more than the typical lip balm. In my collection, the formula that I have closest to this one is the one from the Superstar lips from Charlotte Tilbury, in that they look and feel very similarly on the lips. And the lipsticks have a similar component to the lip veils and also the lip cheeks from last year. The difference is in the colors of the lipsticks, of the outside packaging, also on the motif, which I'm not sure you'll be able to see, but I will place photos on the video. Instead of having a hummingbird on the packaging, they have a butterfly to indicate the collection to which they belong.
And now I'm going to show you the application of all these four products on me. I have already applied my foundation. I use the cushion foundation from Shintikai. My brows are done and I apply just a little bit of Shintikai Serena bronzer just to give a little bit of warmth on the edges of my face. So now let's go to the eyeshadows. I think I'm going to start with this flat shader from Sonia G and I'm going to apply the shade number one which is the taupe shimmer. I'm going to apply it on the socket to block the veins that I have on my eyelids. I've already applied a little bit of concealer and I'm not sure the camera is picking up. The taupe shimmer is actually more shimmery than what I was expecting. It is indeed a very skin-like shade, very close to my own skin, but the, re the shimmer really comes through. And the eyeshadows from Shantakai are so pigmented, so shimmery, that you just need a very light wash. I'm actually passing a bigger blender because I want the focus to be on the peach and on the green and not on the taupe shade. Now I'm going to use a smaller shader and this is the mini booster. No, sorry, it's the flat definer this one and I'm going to apply the shade number two the one that has a shift from pink to green to gold on the inside oh so pretty this is really green I hope my camera is picking up oh I really like this one butterfly eyelids I really like this one. I know this collection is about butterflies and not hummingbirds. I think the two collections are very much related because the hummingbirds also have this kind of shift. I like this shade, it's very pretty. And this eyeshadow is super creamy. And now I'm going to use the mini booster and apply this beautiful peach shimmer on the socket. The peach shade is not coming out as very peachy. What I can see the most is the reflect. It's more like an undertone, at least on my skin, under this light and considering that I already have the other taupe shade beneath, I'm seeing more the reflex once more than the, the peach. And now I'm going to use this very small definer. This is the flat definer from the Kiaki brush set and I'm going to use this one, the shade number 4 and I think the one that has less shimmer of all the four shades and I'm going to stamp it across the, the lash line. The effect is extremely subtle but it's there. I think this one is beautiful. On the bottom eyelashes you can really see its flicker amongst the eyelashes. It's really nice. Not sure the camera is picking up, but I can assure you that in person you can see the flicker of the shimmer between the eyelashes. I want to maintain my eyelids very soft, but I want to increase the definition of my eyes. So I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham Kajal Liner in Cocoa. I'm going to tight line with it. I don't have practically any fallout, but I'm going to clean the edges curl my eyelashes, apply my mascara and I'll be back. Okay, I have applied as well a little bit of blush and this is from Shantukai as well and it's this shade here, the turtle, which I thought it would be a good one, not overly peach nor pink, so good for us to try the lipsticks, which is what we are going to do now, I'm very excited. And I'm going to start with the lightest shade, which is called Peach Blossom. And obviously, as the name says, it's a peach shade. Isn't this pretty? And as you can see, I feel these lipsticks really plump up the lips, or at least give the illusion of the lips being more plump. And this shade in my lips, which have naturally a quite a dark color, uh, translates just as a very soft hint of peach. They smell wonderfully to vanilla, which I love, but they don't taste like it. Mm. 
So now we are going to apply the pinker one, which is called Clover. And this almost isn't perceptible in my lips. And finally, I'm going to apply the darker nude. It has a hint of brown, a hint of pink, but it's neither one of them. It's like the perfect mix of both. So this is Aesop. I think that with this eye look, I prefer the first color, the peach one, but I would like to know your opinion. Which one do you think looks better on me? Leave it below on the comments. So what is my opinion regarding this collection? Well, I think that if you like the packaging, and if you like the quality and the formulas of last year's Hummingbirds collection, you are going to like this. The question is, do you like the color stories or not? And regarding the color story, the main difference is that the Butterfly collection has a less bright, slightly more muted color story than the one from the Hummingbird. And you can clearly see it on the swatches of the lipsticks but also in the eyeshadows. It's almost like equating the hummingbirds and that collection to the tropics, to the vibrancy of the greens and the oranges and the pinks, and the, the butterfly collection being in a more moderate temperature where you also have those spring colors but not as punchy. If you ask my personal opinion regarding the color stories, I have to say that I love this quad just as much as I love the two from last year. This eyeshadow, the one that shifts between green and pink, is absolutely gorgeous. And I think the other three shades are a little bit deceiving because especially these two are extremely shimmery. So you are not going to get a very impactful, colorful look on the eye with any of these two. What you get is a wash of color. I think this eyeshadow is wonderful to do one of those one eyeshadow all over the lid kind of looks. It has enough color to be defining, but at the same time it's a muted color. And it has that brightness of the pink in there. I think it's a beauty. Ah, and of course it has the shimmer, which is, in my opinion, extremely flattering for all the skin types and ages, and therefore also for mature skins. Regarding the shades of the lipsticks, the one that I'm using is the Aesop one, and this is, as I said in the application, my lip color, but better, a little bit more vibrant. And from the other two, the pinker and the, the, the peach one, I definitely prefer the peach. And from the Hummingbird collection, there was the Coral Bell and the Passion Flower, and I love the color of Passion Flower, but this one is a little bit, it's an orange. And of course, although this formula is a little bit more forgiving, it's still an orange. So I think that these two, one peach, one coral, I think they are beautiful shades, very easy to wear and will flatter uh, a lot, many, many skin tones. I think these two pinks from last year's and this year are both beautiful. It's just a question if you prefer a warm pink or a cool pink. So once again, I think that Chantakai has delivered a very beautiful collection, easy to wear, easy to apply, and that is definitely a pleasure for the senses. And this is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you found it useful. 
If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and share with some of your friends that also like Shantakai. I would like to thank you for the time that you have just spent with me and until next time, bye!